this is Miss Anna, and I'm from the McHenry Public Library. I'm here to talk about World Almanac for Kids Elementary. This is a really great database if you're doing research on any kind of subject. And this is perfect for elementary age students. So how do you access WAKE? Your first step is to go to www.mchenrylibrary.org. You are going to need a library card number, but don't worry if you don't have a library card. All you have to do is go to this library news section, and there is a link to get a temporary e-library card to use our digital library. So not only can you check out Wake, you can explore all of our other awesome databases as well. So to get to Wake, you're going to go to this Find It drop-down menu. You're going to select Library Databases. From there, you're going to go to Encyclopedias. And as you can see, World Almanac for Kids Elementary is right over here. Once you click that, it will ask for your library card number. All you do is type it in, and it will redirect you to the home page right over here. So as you can see, there's plenty of things to explore on the home page. Our first thing is a featured video. So there's always going to be a different daily featured video right over here. There's also a did you know section. So this is always going to have kind of a fun fact that you can research. And this is going to change every time that you refresh the page or log into a new session. There's also featured topics and you can explore more resources on the bottom. But I like to navigate using this menu on the top. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is all of the topics. So there are a number of subjects to browse, everything from animals to earth to energy, explorers, civilizations, math, and science. So anything that you might be interested in learning more about. But I really wanted to highlight two really great social and emotional learning resources. The first is being a good citizen, and the other one is character building. So both of these are going to have lots of great subjects and articles for you to browse on social and emotional learning. So on the left over here, we have character traits. So things like caring, courage, perseverance, and responsibility, teamwork and good sportsmanship, as well as getting along with others. And these are going to have really great articles. So you can either read these with your child or student or you can have them read it for themselves. What I really like is that each one ends with this try it section. So this can be really useful if you're working on this with your child or student. Each article also has citation information if you are using it for research purposes. Going back, there's also fun facts and there's also videos. So this is a really great way if you want to show these ideas to your child or student. So for example, we're going to select showing courage. You get the video right over here. You can turn on closed captioning, make it full screen, and there's also a short description. So going back to this top menu, the next thing we're going to take a look at is all videos. There's always going to be a featured video right over here. Uh, but you can also browse by subject, so things like geography, health and guidance, and math. So if you know you have a lesson on physical science, for example, this can be a really great way to help supplement that lesson. Going back to the top, the next thing we're going to browse is games. So again, there's always going to be a featured game. And again, you can see that they are listed by subject. So this can be a really great way if you know that you have a child or student that's maybe struggling with math, you can select something fun that will help supplement that lesson for them. And there's also this more section right over here. So you can take a look at maps, flags, fun facts, but something I really wanted to highlight is science projects. So these are really great age appropriate science projects that your student or child can do from home. So you can see there's a list of all of them, but you can also filter by various subjects like earth science or life science. We're just going to select this first one right over here. 
It's going to give you a summary as well as the time requirement. And I like to look at the setting because there you can see whether it's doable from home. You also get the PDF that you can download and then print out. So this is a really great resource when doing school from home. And this can be a really great way to help supplement or even create a lesson plan. Last but not least, I really want to highlight these teacher resources. So this is great for both parents and educators because it will have a variety of different materials that you can use. So things like graphic organizers, handouts, forms, diagrams. You can also take a look at educational standards and how they align with our Common Core curriculum. So this is a really great tool for all of you guys. So to just wrap things up, the World Almanac for Kids Elementary. This is a really great first encyclopedia for your students and a really great tool for both parents and educators. If you're interested in checking it out, all you have to do is go to mchenrylibrary.org and all you need is your library card number. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment you can also contact us through the Facebook Messenger app. I hope you have a lot of fun exploring World Almanac for Kids Elementary. Why don't you take a look at these fun facts and let us know if you learned something new. I also hope that you take a chance and check out all of our other awesome databases as well.